Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, and this is NBA 2K22 on 2K Sports. Hello folks, it's time for another game of the NBA 2K22. We all like to say that we have finally reached 2022 of the NBA 2K22 for our new year. So Happy New Year everyone and hopefully this turns out to be one of the best games ever that we are all looking for for our whole people to enjoy it one by one. If you're all say, expecting to see the Pacers and the Bucks, the Bucks have already been won against the other team. What was the scoring status out there, me phone? Well, the digital media was currently being advertised that one, as we all have heard Giannis Antetokounmpo made a show, and he is ultimately turning things out of it, without any other questions to bring the mask in the direction below. I have never seen this one part going in the game, and if you haven't heard of it before, there's a lot much chance that we are always joining here. But right now, we're about to do something a little bit different. We are adding a new guest here for this show to be on the NBA. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, as we are all preparing this one, it is the newer uh, host to be showing you here. And that means we are bringing somebody in here to be a special guest. Meet OJ. Thanks for coming here for the game. And right now, you got some good ones in between. Why, thank you very much there. It's very appreciated that everybody's enjoying it so far. If you're all enjoying the uh, the deals for episode eight, I hope this turns out to be good for you to click over there. And in the meantime, what are we got here? We got a good probationary in between the New York uh, showdown. In between Brooklyn Nets and New York Knicks. Yeah, that's good, correct. Everything turned out great. Not too much out there, but we are seeing a lot of plays to find out who they are. We have is James Harden, Patrick Mills, DeAndre Bembry, KD, which is Kevin Durant, and LaMarcus Aldridge. On the other hand of the Knicks, we have is Alec Burks, Evan Fournier, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, and New Orleans Noel. So if you're all looking for Kyrie Irving, he is not playing for this season of NBA 2K22 because a pandemic being tested for positive of COVID-19. He was able to miss out their games for the home games, but he was always doing the away games for this one. And he has always been out here for the family here since he was out so many games out this season. We were all frustrated about Kyrie Irving. There's no idea if he will return again to Brooklyn Nets to the other team. So we'll have to find out later, and if there's any other chance, there might be a solution here to replace the newer player. Yeah, I'm worried about Kyrie Irving here too. You know, this is like a lot of a uh, lot of a bad uh, devastation of a look. Everybody's uh, complaining about Kyrie Irving, but this is all they had. Not too much to bring here. There is so much to uh, to see what's going to happen. If anything changes out there, there might be another way to get through. So with that, it's time to bring in the game. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the 2K TV holiday special and also the uh, Christmas Day matchups. And now here's your question: Who led the league in screen assists, assists per game last season? I'm thinking this one's going to be very uh, tough for me. I'm not sure who it is. I'm going to go with this guy. No, it's not Jacob Potel. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, in between the other players from the other one. Well, that's very tough. Well. I just recently tried it, but that's not all there is. There's another one that there could be another player to bring Ben back things in. Right now, let's go over to the Garden at New York City in downtown. Here we are at the Garden, folks. This is where the New York Knicks play. And without any presentation, we're also joining you here too. And we got a great key in between match of the New York Showdown. We'll have to find out if there's any choice looking for James Harden. Last season it was turning out to be unstoppable. Didn't get enough fruit, but only season two to three was 36.1. And without any questions, let's have a quicker look here from the other side 
as we go to DA. Well, Kevin, one of the great stories is Julius Randle becoming an all-star in New York. Randle said it's been a lot of hard work paying off. He, a pastor, a leader, you name it, I've gotten to flip the script on my own reputation. I'm also helping with this larger thing we have going, changing the reputation of our entire franchise. Mission accomplished, Kevin. Thank you so much, your DA. And here are the starting lineups for the teams. Key matchup is in between and in its hands from Fournier and Mills. Not able to serve for Kyrie Irving. He's missing out each game. Well, I'm hoping there's a, there's a good chance here. I definitely haven't seen the Nets winning at home games, but a lot of them because of the pandemic was being hit. And I already know that the Nets already beat against uh, LeBron James' team, so it's turned out very good. It's a fantastic run of his season. I really see, I really like this court so much. It's all black, starting out very nicely. And this is their first time, they haven't used it so long. We always see the Nets, uh, Nets City court here, every live games. But hopefully, we'll get to see what it, it comes by. So we'll have to find out. As the game starts now, we are approaching down here in Madison Square Garden. Here's Julius Randle with a tough shot, and a look up here, here is Kevin Durant. His last game of this season after playing against the playoff spot here against the Bucks, it's playing out very tough. It's giving him a lot of opportunity here to try to figure it out on his run. James Harden makes a layup here on the drive. James Harden, you know, he's definitely how uh, well he's getting tough of it. I'm pretty sure he's doing really well, but not to a fit. Not to offend anybody. I really uh, I really think he could just try to like, keep it back in the game. If I was in the Rockets, there's no other choice. Maybe he's doing really well. Here's Kevin Durant, guarded by Julius Randle, finds Harden. Tough shot, but a good D here on the well. And Burks will carry the other way. Burks finds Fournier. Fournier up. The first shot of Fournier is no good, as he reached out in terrible look. A lot of transition, it's not even turning out to be in tricks already. Evan Fournier would have been opening already. Didn't really catch it up. Harden up again, makes a shot. That's two in a row for James Harden. Two baskets made. James Harden really would have affected go back to back a little bit more. We haven't seen that one here play in quite some time. Kevin Durant going back the other way. That is number four for the rebounding of this game. 4.13 left to go here. Mills trying to find another way to get around it. Bounce pass to James Harden. Trying to look in the other direction here. Another shot coming in. And that's rebounded by Julius Randle. That's number two for the New York Knicks. In a well, A with the dunk. And he goes right around it. Take a look at the AT&T slam dunk. Wow. Noel out with the pro. He just goes right in there. No stopping this guy in the center. Oh man, Noel, I'm definitely never gonna look chance to, to catch my breath here. I was able to uh, to see how this one turned out. And me and Paintbrush would have been realized like, whoa, what is gonna happen with Bruno Noel? I like this guy so much. Durant outside, three to shoot. Gets away with it, and it's a rebound tough on Randall. That's number three in a row. Julius Randall, how tough he has to do. Well, his time has gotten into it, and he had a lot of probationary to get right into the game if he has a lot of time to go for another rebound or try to look for an open pass out there to find a defenseman. Here's Patty Mills finding over after Benbury. Mills. Up and over with a shot, and Mills couldn't get the first shot as the rebound is on Barrett. Daddy Mills has a lot of a more for temperation that he has a lot gotten into it, but he hasn't never gotten into this game to start from his run. Like I haven't seen him playing, but there's a lot of moment that he can bring. An excellent shot here for Evan Fournier. He's uh, quite impressive on the run, or Alex Burke. I think Alex Burke has that shot. Not even too much to get carried. Mills, Harden for three. Rebounded by Aldridge. That will be his first rebound here in the game. 
pining over is Aldridge. With a round of back, and the first basket goes to LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge, how tough can he be? I'm pretty sure he's doing really well. Not too much to, uh, to cover about him, but I haven't seen him play in a season. A great drive by Alex Burke. He's gotten the first one to make his count score as it ties the game up. Alex Burke. What he really has done here before was playing with the other team that he wasn't able to look for it for the Sacramento Kings. He really has gotten into it. But what a play here for Alex Burke. Harden driving forward. That's number six. Six points in the game. Number three. James Harden. He's like easy man. He's open already. Great drive. Inside Randall. A tight D on Kevin Durant. Julius Randall picks up a rebound and makes it in. Timeout called by Brooklyn with 1.18 to go. And the game is still tight. Looks like we got some uh, good franchise out there. I think we we're looking for another great upset out there. Last time for last season, it was the New Orleans Pelicans that made a win, that made a loss. And the Knicks beat the uh, Zion Williamson's team. He's gotten into it. He's doing really well. Trying to keep it up on the man. Alive again and again. I'd really like to see how this turned out. If the franchise can keep it going for New York Knicks to come back in the playoffs. They went back in for last season um, in 2020-21. to 21. I'm hoping there's another chance for them if they can try to keep it back in. With some new substitutions going on, we have is Brett Brown coming in for coming in for Bembry, and we have is Johnson, Blake Griffin, and of course uh, we we talked about it before. Uh, it was Kemba Walker that played his first game after playing with the Boston Celtics, but decided to move up the next level. Oh, what a play here for Blake Griffin! He made a good block. Here's Yvonne Carter, passes over to Griffin. Griffin to Mills. Over Rose. Mills' second shot doesn't go in. And you, if you're looking for uh, a, another player that, uh, that Robinson had, and, and also Blake Griffin, he's gotten a good defense. Try to work his way on his run. Didn't really have enough uh, paid attention there more. Jevon Carter, we've seen him playing in the finals here before, placing against the Milwaukee Bucks for her last season. And it turned out to be a nice couple games here in a row. Patty Mills, a deep three pull pointer, and Blake Griffin will take the first assist in this game as it winds up to be 11 8 run. And a tie coming in. Oh, put back! It's Robinson putting it back in for the two pointer. What a wet play out there. Robinson keeps it flying. He's definitely got it. Says, I got you back. Mills makes the three. That's double three in a row. That's six points for Mills. And the first quarter closes with 14 10 score. We got a great competition out there. Hopefully, there's another way to get there around if the Knicks can try to answer it back. First quarter is closed. We'll be right back after this. He had a lot of trick dunks. Maybe I might pull out one of his dunks throughout the sea, but he definitely has some tricks back then. I think I, I have better ones now, though. A lot of plays for the dunks. I haven't seen him trying to keep it up from here on top, and he was never on here for his interview. I have not seen him play uh, quite once or twice, but there might be a lot more to keep an eye on if there's another choice. Brett Brown. Deep three, and he made one in here for an easy bucket. Brett Brown, how tough can you be? Brett Brown has gotten into a good game since he played last season, uh, winding up here in the playoffs in the spot. I really like how he is playing without uh, Shamit, and even, of course, how definitely can you be? Derek Rose making a two-pointer out there as Toppin takes the first assist of this game. Toppin is really like the only uh, other player that he has gotten into it. But if you're looking for the other guy that he is trying to keep an eyes on him, then he has a lot of courage on his score. Jevon Carter misses the three-pointer as Rose takes it the other way. With five minutes remaining, 17 to 12 score, New York trailing by five. 
Rose trying to survey the defense and the offense. Going over, Rose too quickly. Five to shoot to go. They got to get into it. 48 for three. And he missed his three pointer as it turns out to be the other direction for Brooklyn. Mills trying to find a trying to screen. Finds Blake Griffin. Dunks it through as Blake Griffin gets the first bucket here for this one. Blake Griffin, he's like an astonishing man out there. But if you're looking for his open pass, he got lucky open and tried to make it wide out. And it says, it says, in paint here. And he definitely knew he got that pass a lot to keep an eye on. Quickly on the wing, screen on Robinson was denied. And Robinson picking it back in the game with a number two pointer score. Robinson, he's still alive though. He's not missing the shot. Carter in the corner, back to Mills. Screen on Blake Griffin. Trying to fix it up a bit. Finds Griffin, up with the shot, and that's good. No foul called on New York Knicks. Griffin's got the second bucket in the game. And keeping it up in this game, they're calling a timeout for the Knicks with 3.32 to go. Those coaches can definitely uh, try to uh, fix it up a bit here on offense and defense. Not too much out there is trying to put up a uh, lot of uh, struggle. So as you can definitely tell, I, I always spot it out here is that Kemba Walker has never have gotten into the game. The ball, uh, ball that he is missing out, he has definitely has not, not here for this game, for this season. He was playing really well in the first, first coverage out there. But the last thing that he has never done here before is trying to help him out with the team. Not too much uh, to think about, but that's really kind of an odd uh, sensation that they really wanted to keep it going. And for Kyrie Irving, he was never returned. He had to try to fight and figure it out if he wanted to get back in the game or will be wanted up with the other team without Brooklyn. And here are some new changes out there for the New York Knicks and the Nets. And as you can see, James Harden's back in, subbing in for Mills. Bambri, Durant, and Millsap are checked in. And taking it over with the other look, they have, we have Burks, Garrett, Randall, and Gibson. Unfortunately, we have a foul called on New York, and it's on Gibson. And checking out one more block here for Blake Griffin. Turned out to be an underdog to go right around it. Yes, Blake Griffin has gotten into a good, good strength. Not able to, uh, to look around again, but he's like all over the place. If you keep an eye on him, we can get a better look at the other. Arden looking for an open pass, finds Durant. Jevon Carter for three, knocks it in there. That's Kevin Durant's first assist. Three-pointer here for Carter, turned out to be no problem. Around the other hand, we have his Barrett, Benbury. And the first foul calls on Brooklyn. That will be James Harden with his first. And there's coach uh, Steve Nash, the head coach for the Nets. And Alex Burke will take the two-pointer. Well, two shots at the free throw line. A lot of scoring breakdowns turned out to be just one. But if you're looking for the stats for Brooklyn, they have gone into it in a couple game matchups, home and away. But they are having a little bit of trouble to face over with the win if they're trying to keep it up on the Jazz, on the Warriors, and also, of course, the, the, the strongest team that never gets there was Phoenix Suns. Fighting for the rebound, and it will be New York Knicks ball. Tries again, Burks. And he goes up again, that's another foul called on James Harden, his second, second team foul. And not even a look of a Stratus out there, this is like an easy pass, look at that, in the paint. But that turned out to be a very good, quick call. And that definitely turns out to be an easy one here for Brooklyn, calling for another foul. As Brooks reached it, another two point free throw, he has to figure this one out, if he could try to 
keep an eye on the uh, players and try to work around it. Nice to see the uh, City Court Edition here for the Knicks as they had it for the first time since they haven't got any of the new ones here, only kept it out the same. But it turned out to be amazing that he, they have gotten a new one. Looking at another one is called Millsap. Millsap scores inside the paint. James Harden will take the first assist. Tonight's average is turning out to be very different. How did that turn out? Well, a lot of plays out there. You guessed it out. Gibson on Millsap, finds Randall, and right around it, try to face out there, and Randall scoops it in there, and he makes another two-pointer. Randall, he's showing like no effort. He has hustled and bounding, and trying to get away with the defender. Bembry for three, shooting wrong, and it doesn't go in. Randall on KD, Randall stands it down, and try to dunk it all. Julius Randle, he shows like he's nowhere to stop in behind. You have to definitely guard him on him, but didn't really want to carry it on. Harden for three. Barry's in the outside of a range as Harden picks up a first three-pointer. Home games, wasn't that bad, but away games had to be a huge trouble point. And now the first foul falls on is Paul Millsap, his first third team foul on Brooklyn. What a good, easy, uh, easy call here and a fast break. Turns out to be R.J. Barrett, who really wants to like keep it up the range. He really wants to go that fast. And he didn't really want to slow down that much and try to scoop it in there. First shot makes it through. As a new changeup calls in for Mills and the other player that we call that, Aldridge. Right now, Paul Millsap is checked out. He makes a second free throw. As it turned out to be 29 to 23 score in the second period. Harden trying to look for a, another open look in the wide pass. Mills outside. Trying to little, put a little pressure here as Aldridge takes the screen. Finding is Aldridge. Round the back and he makes the shot. Aldridge takes a second point of the bucket and that will be Mills with the assist. Mills, Mills, Mills. He has He's gotten into it, a very good game. Not too much to go for it, a lot, a lot of carry on. Oh, Durant! Oh, the dunk was off! Julius Randle couldn't save it! And all oh, the ball goes falling down. Wow, I am surprised. I was never expecting. That's a great block on Durant, but what happened, his finger, he went let loose. Another block, oh, KD! He's slamming it across here, sorry about that. But oh, that's another huge block here for Brooklyn. Like I just said here before, I have not seen the uh, dunk. It was like loose. How this turned out to be that, and it didn't really happen. Oh, wow, what a play out there. And, and, and let me tell you this, that play was just, could have been much stronger than he had. I can't believe it. And another two blocks for Durant. Like he's like putting a pressure on him. On and outside, trying to figure out a forced drive. Reversing the layup is Durant. No Harden is uh, with 11 points. Durant making a good, good control to put his effort. And coming down the wire, Buzz Peter for Randall. And he doesn't make it. That will end the first quarter. First half, I meant, it will be 33 to 25. Tough matchup. We'll have to go down to Kevin to Rance to try to pick it up. Let's go to DA, quick. Hey Kevin, thank you. Here's Tom Thibodeau. Coach, if you hang your hat on defense, how can you improve there in the second half? Well, they're having a hard time matching up with their threes. They're having a much better job. Defense 
finds energy too, and that's what they'll have to work on in the second half. Back to you guys. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the second half after this. Here's the first half look for Nets and Knicks on the recap. Here's a look at the game summary for the first half. Thanks for joining us. Now let's head it over back to the garden. We're back here guys at the garden as we are turning out to be a close game extension as it turned out to be 33 to 25. Looking over is James Harden. How his run turned out to be here guys. Oh, uh, I'm definitely telling you this one. If James Harden was picking up his pace he says he's got a lot of them. I, I really think I've never seen him. He's like playing more often. And when he had all of his chance, he really does at that point. Yes, I agree with OJ. He's doing a lot of good momentum there for uh, Harden to be back here on the court. I have never seen his ankle break in here. Since the last time it was uh, season five, he turned out to be very, very uncomfortable out there. So he tried to ace it up. I've never seen this one before. Durant picking up a shot, and he makes it in there. That will be another two-pointer for Brooklyn to pick it up. Here's Fournier picking up another outside of the direction, trying to look for another shot if he can try to take it all. Barrett on Bembry, screen on Randall. Inside Fournier, no, outside Fournier, excuse me. Fournier over Mills. And no good here as Durant picks up another rebound. Yeah, and you're forcing the ball here to try to go for another offense. Whatever you really need to keep an eye on. If there's a ball on defenseman, they're not going to try to keep it on. Harden and a steal is on RJ Barrett. Burks trying to look around the other direction. Open pass, finds Fournier over the shot. It goes in! Fournier. Hits another two-pointer, and they're coming down the field. Fournier has gotten a good, intense speed out there. They're just looking on their way, trying to pick it up. Harden for three. I have no question about Harden. He's picking up 14 points in the game against the Knicks. How that turned out to be him. We have no cigarments to make a change. A block. Oh! And he still has it back out there without any questioning. And Barrett answers the three baller for the Knicks. The Nets made more five more three-pointers than the Knicks. Well, we have a first three-pointer here. That's for the New York Knicks team. We try to pick it up any other way. I haven't spotted out that point. Emory Mills up again with the drive, and he goes right in there. Batty Mills, he's has gotten into it. Only eight points had allowed him to score. I have never seen his score gain so tough. And that's the number on the back and you got. Burks, no good on the three-pointer as it will be carried out. It'll be James Harden. 40 to 30 score, another steal by Fournier, another turnover on Brooklyn. Burks up in the paint. Makes a rebound, Barrett finds another answer, and he picks it back in there. Barrett on the strong handle, he never really got into it. Oh! Well, Marcus Aldridge tried to slam it across, and he says, move out of my way. I am trying to make more room to dunk. And there is no question about that. Wow, that was like a really tough one. You, you didn't really want to make a dirty chat out of it. Do you want to? Oh, they, he doesn't really want to do that. Not too much conflict about this, but this game was still gotten into it and trying to pick up more speed than ever, and they had it before. How tough can they do? Well, they're, they're definitely doing it really tough out there. I'm definitely having a hard time to try to figure out which player do they have the most. And if they didn't uh, pick up a strength out there, it's going to be very tough for them to try to figure out the score. Very hard. A lot of astonishing on this win, but there's too much to go for. 
so as there are new changes coming in along, we have Mr. Robinson coming back in. We also got three players subbed out as Mills stays on the game. Brown, Johnson, and Millsap are checked back in. They're all chanting, let's go Knicks. And a steal broken up. I do not see the block. I have to just try to replay that slowly. Or if there's a uh, mobile one block shot. Harden trying to go in. Steps back. Makes another two pointer. James Harden keeps it alive as it's got 16 points, 70% field goal, and 12 minutes on the court. Rose able to pick it out and doesn't go in. James Harden, he has gotten in a good strength. I have not seen how James Harden was making this shot, but how does he have to first change his effect better than the Rockets? There might not be every, any of our changing if they wanted to pick it up. Looking right over, Johnson for three. He missed out the first three-pointer, carrying away as Mitchell Robinson. Oh, how you? Oh, we got a good one here. Toppin making a dunk out there, and he's just on the heat. And there's now two minutes to go here for the third quarter. Millsap for three went very early as Rose picks up a rebound. Millsap is not going to be working out here. But that's gaming really struggles him. He's having trouble trying to keep his show alive. Oh, James Harden would have felt like he would almost got embarrassed by, by Derrick Rose, but didn't seem to care about him. Harden finding Mills. Mills steps up. Another two-pointer went off carry as Barrett picks the rebound. Rose, give another angle, another alley -oop. Oh, nope, it's a drive layup as Rose picks up a two. Another timeout, they will be called on New York Brooklyn. 1.15 left to play here in the third quarter. There's a change up that always happens. happens. What a great play here for the New York Knicks as they are all doing training up here and trying to pick up a way with the block and another uh, transaction. I'm thinking they're going to have to try to keep the strength here and keep it going as, as they can. But they are not really wanting to give up on the game. That they really wanted to pick it all up. It's going to be very tough for them to try to get into motion. On this score, that's definitely what happens already if there's a choice here to get around with them. I'm pretty sure I have some a lot of respect here for James Harden if he has tried to pick up his game. Well, his game has gotten into a good look. I don't even remember this one. That's kind of hard. It gets tough. Not really too much to, uh, to go right after it here. And a new change coming back in the floor. We have this Bembry. He will be checking in for Brown. And Millsap is checked out as Griffin is checked in. No sight for Kemba Walker as he's still out. Quickly and Fournier are still back in the game here. Mills doesn't have the chase choice to go in. Now Arden back out there. Driving in. He's denied! Blake Griffin saving. And he doesn't pick it up the pace. Well, what a good D here. I think he that was topping out there. I do not remember this one if it was gone back into it. If they really had to pick it all up. Johnson finds Bembry. Bembry to Johnson. Johnson looking back over his Bembry. Without any questions on the door, this turned out to be one by one. Five to shoot. Passes to Harden. Brings up the shot. He doesn't go in there. Another rebound by Quickly. And quickly, he's turning around the other way. Didn't really want to speed out. Try to make their way down on the board. Five seconds to go for the third. Rose up. It's in. That's on Robinson with another two-pointer as Rose makes the assist. With the buzz beater, Bembry. And it doesn't go in that time. That ends the third quarter. 44 to 38. Will the Knicks take the winning response over at the Garden? We'll be right back. The fourth quarter is coming up after this. And we have a moment now to take a look at the State Farm Assist of the Game. 
for, to prove me that better, we have also sure to check out his play of James Harden and LaMarcus Aldridge. But his game did definitely have gotten into it, was just a lot more. I have always seen the uh, smooth run here for James Harden to pick it up. I have never seen that LaMarcus Aldridge could do that pass. He's doing really well. We played three quarters at this point, but now it's time to get down to the fourth quarter to finish the game. As for now, Burks finds Robinson, and that will be another bucket here for Robinson. Quick, easy pass by Alex Burke, picking up another assist in the game. Alex Burke has gotten really good into this one. He's gotten a good strike. I would like to see that run. Harden outside, goes right back to Bembry. Harden, another three-pointer, and another miss here for Brooklyn. Oh, the steals on Bembry. Bembry, he's gotten a good, good look. I think he had to prove, um, he proven to be a steal. How that turned out was like hard and expected. Another shot here for Kevin Durant. That's another two-pointer. The second bucket of the night. 46 to 40, New York trailing by six. Double man finds Brando Perks. Trying to carry the three. 48 for three. Inside, that is going right in the rim. And 48 is keeping it up, and our team is trailing by three. Evan 48, a good looking pass, a good looking shot. He's gotten good strength. I'm thinking 48 could definitely come back and make a win if they could try to beat Brooklyn out. Rebounding save turned out to be a huge disappointment, but Robinson saves it again. Burks inside two. Didn't want to take a risk. Randall finds it back, and they're closing it up by one. Randall, he's gotten the good strength. I'm thinking he's turning out to be a close game out there. Durant finds Griffin. Griffin right over to Harden for three. Another miss by Brooklyn, and that is another one on Robinson. Burks trying to find another way to get inside. Burks up, takes the lead, and they're up by one. They got a good here for the first lead for tonight. What a great run for Alex Burke. He's got a good pressure. Durant. Screen on Blake Griffin. Finding a look. Griffin answers it around, and they are pulling it back the other way, up by one. The next timeout is called by is New York with 3.34 to go in the fourth quarter. And let's hear about uh, this one here, gentlemen. What game do we love to see how the players get up there? Well, I'm expecting to say that uh, it was kind of tough. Very tough it goes. I'm thinking that James Harden was doing the best as he could. I wasn't really uh, taking a look in the other uh, direction. But they wanted to uh, find out how well the guys played. And with this game, yes, he, it was definitely back on the Christmas day. How well can you do? And for me, Phil, what is your take here for the player? My take for the player here, I think Julius Randle taking a good look on the other side, how tough he has done. And he's doing really well to help this team out. I'm expecting that he's a great player here. Without play, playing out here that long, he really wants it all. New changes coming in for Brooklyn and New York. Never change up here. Mills and Griffin are checked out. And a new change up here will be Carter and Aldridge. Barrett on the lead. Another rebound by Robinson. And that, oh, Aldridge picking up another block here. LaMarcus Aldridge, he wasn't really ready to pick this performance out there. But I say he is ready to take a defenseman and try to block it all. Harden around R.J. Barrett. Makes a shot. And it goes in there. James Harden receiving 18 points over Julius Randle's score by 10 and by 8 points. RJ Barrett. Oh, what a deny here by Marcus Aldridge. I am expecting that this was going to be very tough for him to try to keep it on his run. Aldridge has two blocks in a row. Harden trying to fight their way through. Durant outside. 
Tries to look inside, and that foul calls on New York. That will be Mitchell Robinson with his first personal first team foul. No fouls here given out for the Knicks here since three quarters come into a smooth run. But only one turned out to be a, to be a loose ball foul. And right now, two free throws coming up will be Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, he wasn't really trying to uh, prepare his run for his season. And he, their team is not playing because they have postponed it. And that was due to pand 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 pandemic, pandemic, I meant. But that's a lot of like hard questions if they will ever play against the other teams uh, in away games. And a second free throw will come in for Kevin Durant as they pick up six points. And they are picking it up on their way to try to fight another what? Another angle. Randall outside. Finds a shot. And missed again as Kevin Durant picks up nine rebounds. A lot of plays out there. Here's Kevin Durant. Kevin and Jevon Carter will try to carry it on. We'll find out how we can do it. Memory right to Eldridge. Aldridge with the shot. Back it goes, in and out. That's RJ Barrett with another rebound. And there's two minutes left. Fournier goes in and out. And man, those two players can be in trouble going to make the shot in and out. That's going to be hard for them to try to pick it up. Harden, Aldridge, he buries it in. And it's Harden with the assist. 8-0 run in the last game. Not even true. Not even easy how this turned out. It's a lot of uh, hard courage out there. He didn't really want to stop them. Randall shot with the alley -oop. comes to an unsuccessful range as this will be turned out to be Brooklyn Ball. Aldridge pass back to Reggie Von Carter. He finds Durant. Durant right to uh, Harden. Around the angle, blocked and denied by Noel. That's the first block here for the game. Noel, he has gotten a good strength. I think his first block turned out to be easy on that call. Barrett, looking for a three-pointer here as it doesn't want well enough to carry it out. 48 for three, it's in! Brooklyn with the timeout, and they are down by four. Evan Fournier, he's not giving up yet. He's still looking for his pace out there. He's doing really, really well. How tough can you be? That's going to be very uh, good, easy making for Evan Fournier to make a shot. How oh, great. It's real how it gets. Let's have a look at the New Balance player in the game as this one goes out to James Harden. James Harden, the master of it. Uh, MVP Harden uh, is also his nickname. He said it's definitely translated up, of course. And yes, that's definitely what had ever happened here before. James Harden, no adoption, no questions concerned. But his comment is like putting, oh yes, moment. That's what I really felt of James Harden, how he puts it up with the Brooklyn team. We are approaching it down to under a minute to go here as 54 to 50 was a close game in between Benbury to Durant. Benbury looking to free. Oh, it's the block by RJ Barrett. Another block by New York and a foul is called for the block on Harden. His third, first team foul on the block. And looking over, we got a good block here to turn out to be tough. It was LaMarcus Aldridge. Aldrich, no questions. I have no concerns about him. He's like putting up a pressure out there. How tough can he do? And with another timeout called on New York, we will uh, have a slight minute break here, and then we'll get back into this with 38.8 seconds. It's getting closer right now as it's still 54 to 50. Might be a takeaway if there's a chance to take the score. Burks, going by one, didn't really call it all. Julius Randall picking up his first personal second team foul. That's going to be very hard for them to try to pick it up on the run to take it away. 
And another foul turned out to be Evan Fournier. As Mills will go to the free throw at the free throw line. A lot of players, they really wanted to take the ball away, but they didn't really happen as the referee calls an easy look here on the players on the foul. As for Mills, he makes the first free throw. One more left, and they will be trying to pick up a win. And he does it. Mills makes another two, three throws as it picks up 10 points, 56 to 50 to score. And now the next timeout called by is New York Knicks with their final timeout to go. A lot of plays out there. We got a great in between the strength of those two teams. What do you think of how this turned out to be here, Mifo? Oh, uh, well, a lot of too much to go in and complaining about each teams. I think they're on the roll here. They try to pick it up. All the run, all they had, they picked it up with strength. Not too much to carry out here, but this is like a hard impact. I really like to see how this turned out. If there's a game coming in, the chance to go try to fight for it in between those teams. Nothing to say about that one, but that's all there is with an easy run. And yes, uh, B phone, I definitely think they are they're a great team out there. And they're in the New York section. They're really enjoyed it. I guess they uh, I guess I would really love them too. Couple more uh, changes out here for the Knicks and uh, and the Nets trying to figure out on offense and defense. Burks for three. It doesn't go in at that time, and a foul picked up here on R.J. Barrett is four first, fourteen foul, first foul. Well, Marcus Aldridge will go to the free throw line to shoot two more. They try to answer it on their way. First free throw has gone into a miss, and they're up eight for one, if he makes it or not. That's going to be a lot of huge shouting and boozing out there for those mascots and fans. He makes a free throw. That will be LaMarcus Aldrich, and they all up by seven. 48 for three. Aces it back. And they're keeping it going alive again and again. Trying to stop the run, and that will be another foul on R.J. Barrett. 15 foul on New York second foul. Patty Mills will have to go back to the free throw line to shoot two more and try to pick it up. Last time it was it was him. He made two free throws. And you can see all the fans are leaving the are leaving the bleachers behind because that was going to be a rough call here. We're trying to pick it up here for tonight. Mills hits the first free throw, makes it again, and it's over. And he makes two. That's it for the game, and that's going to be the end for the uh, for the New York showdown. How fantastic will you have to be? Uh, I have nothing to say about that. That's a lot of strength and how they picked it all up. And they will have to try to make another foul here for Evan Fournier to try to stop the run. And they are just keeping it up here to try to do another free throws for the Nets. But they could have passed it a little bit more better to pick it up for another, another strength without calling a fouls. That's going to be a very tough situation out there. They really wanted to take it all. First free throw went very late, and we'll have to pick up one more. I'm, I'm telling you this one. He's, he's kind of similar like uh, Paul George, uh, PG-13. I don't see his reference. <laughs> I, I don't know about uh, Paul George. That wasn't his reference to pick it up another again. And they will leave it all alone. The final score is the Nets win 60 to 53.
that's the end here for the New York Showdown. It all turned out to be amazing and frantical of the game. Now let's get you over to the courtside of David Aldrich for the finishing part. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with James Harden. James, this team adds onto its win streak. How important are nights like this as you move forward? That was huge, man. We, uh, we did an amazing job. We continue to get better offensively and defensively. Guys are stepping up, so uh, we got a long way to go, but we're in the right direction. It is not where you start, but where you finish. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. Thank you, DA. Thank you for joining us here, OJ. It's a pleasure to meet you here for our game coverage here. We can't wait to have you back here. Yeah, thank you so much here, uh, Mifo and uh, Son of Beast. It's been great having you so far. I'm hoping to, uh, hoping to return here again if there's a rejoin possible for the Anime Insanity Invitational. Well, we'll have to see how this turned out. And thank you for joining us here. For another game of the new, of the NBA 2K22, now let's present three stars players of the game. Number three, we got a good look here as Evan Fournier made 11 points here, 21 minutes on the court, and only one steal picking up here for the game, two assists in a row. Not too much to uh, form about him, but that's all he had turned out. It's a lot harder to happen. And number two we have is. Turning out to be a better player, Patty Mills. Patty Mills has been going right into the bucket in between. Five assists, three rebounds, and 12 points in the game. Only 20 minutes. He bring it on like he had never before. And number one it is the best player of the game of New Balance, James Harden. MVP Harden, number 13. With an incredible score, 18 points. Four rebounds and three assists, but only three turnover that put it up on the bad angle. So thank you for watching for the NBA 2K22. I hope everybody's enjoying the new year of 2K22, also being known as 2022. Well, uh, it's it's quite it's quite obvious, but uh, you don't have to worry about that. It's it's amazing. How would you like it if there's another choice here to have a new year to bring it on? Well, we never know. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's definitely uh, uh, in between the range out there. You'll 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 guess. And with that, with all being said, thanks for watching. Peace out to everyone for as a while as the NBA 2K22 dial, and of course the New York Showdown dial. Without being said, with me phone and son of beast, I'm your host here along with OJ with a special guest. This has been a presentation of the NBA 2K22. We like to say good night in the, in the city of New York, of the Big Apple. With all being said, thank you for joining us. Until next time, see you then.